Now question number 38 says, we have to find number of distinct real roots of this equation, which is x sin x plus cos x is equal to x square. So what I'll do is I'll take this function fx as x sin x plus cos x and minus x square. So if I'll differentiate this function, f dash x, then I'll get x, derivative of sin x is cos x, and then plus sin x, cos x is minus sin x, and then minus 2x. So here sin x and sin x, it'll cancel. So I'll take x common, and then it'll be cos x minus 2. So if I'll put it equals to 0, so there is only one critical point, x equal to 0. Now cos x cannot be equal to 2. So this is 0. Now, when x is greater than 0, so this is positive, and cos x is always less than 2. So this is negative. So it'll be minus, and then it'll be plus. So this function will have a local maxima at x equal to 0. Now, what is the value at 0? So if I'll put x as 0, then in that case, so this is 0, x square is 0, so f0 is 1. So now these plus and minus signs, they also indicate that this function will increase when x is less than 0, and it'll decrease when x is greater than 0. So if I'll take this limit, limit x tends to minus infinite x sin x plus cos x and minus x square. So minus infinite will contribute to this higher power of x. So this value will be minus infinite. So this function will start from minus infinite. And in the same way, if I take this limit x tends to plus infinite, so again, this minus x square, so it'll take it towards minus infinite. So it'll end at minus infinite. So this function, it'll start from minus infinite, it'll increase, it'll attain its maximum value at zero, and then it'll start to decrease. And then when x is infinite, this value is again minus infinite. So this graph, it will intersect x axis at two distinct points. So number of distinct real roots of this equation is simply two, which is your option number B.